you. So, Felicity, how'd it go? Uh, well, Ian, I went in there, um, put my heart and soul into it, really gave it my heart and soul, and at the end of the day, speaking from my heart and soul, that's really all I could have done. Is it, though? What? <laughs> Putting your heart and soul into it, is that really all you could have done? What about practising? Or learning the words? Or trying to stay in tune? Aren't all those things quite important? Yeah, but what I'm saying is, Ian, I went in there today, put my heart and soul on the line, really gave it my heart and soul, and at the end of the day, coming right from my heart and soul now, there's really nothing else I could have done. Yeah, but technically, there is, though. <laughs> what? Well, you know, you could have got up early and rehearsed, you could have dressed like a proper singer instead of getting trussed up in leather like some Tory MP two seconds before a fatal wanking accident. <laughs> You could have picked a funky, modern tune instead of that sort of depressing Mariah Carey thing that sounded like something a taxi driver would listen to whilst burning photo albums in a lay-by. <laughs> or you could have worked on your vocal technique, which, to be honest, was a bit hoarse and shouty. I don't mean to be rude, but you put me in mind of a dog trying to bark the alphabet. Is any of this helping? <laughs> but I put my heart and soul into that performance. Yeah, but in the real world, that's not really good enough. Which, if you think about it, Felicity, is probably why you're still living with your gran and working in that biro factory. <laughs> in real life, as opposed to the happy, clappy, rainbow fantasy world that you see fit to fly through on your winged unicorn of delusion, <laughs> sincerity is no excuse for failure. You don't see pilots saying, sorry I killed 300 people and sheared the roof off that church, I guess I was giving it too much heart and soul. <laughs> This. Kids, yeah, brilliant, because, of course, having children is sort of like a way of achieving something without needing any talent, which, if you think about it, is a metaphor for your whole life. I hate you. You're a horrible presenter. Actually, Felicity, I'm not a presenter at all. I just come here on my lunch break and do this for fun. Tiss you.